little about your history, man. Um, actually a graduate of Warrensville High School, 2001, um, runner-up state champion. I was a state champion my 10th grade year from Chanel High School. Mm -hmm. Got a full scholarship to the University of South Florida. Um, graduate finance. Um, spent five years playing overseas, four years in France, one year in Finland. Came back home. This is my third year coaching at Warrensville High School. Okay, yeah. All right, see, you got these boys in shape. Huh? I hear you have them uh, run about 100 laps before uh, every practice, right? All the time, all the time. I mean, you know, it, it, one thing builds confidence is being in shape. You know, seeing other teams, you know, dragging and a little tired, you know, it, it lifts our confidence. It, it's, we're a strong team. You know, we have a lot of athleticism. So being in shape is a big part of our success. Okay. Now, you mentioned um, back in the 90s you was here with uh, my nephew was on one of them teams, JK. Mm -hmm. Tell me the big difference from that team to this team you're coaching today. Um, I think the, the, the biggest difference, I think, is the leadership. Um, it was a different style of play. You know, um, I think now these kids are, are, are much better, I think, coached. You mm -hmm. know, now because, you know, now, you know, we, we learned a little bit more about the game. The game has evolved a little bit more. So, you know, I think these kids are, are, are much better coached. And, you know, we relied just on toughness and heart. You know, that was our big thing. You know, we had some talent as well, but the, the heart thing got us over. Okay. Tell me a little bit about what, what kind of team you got this year. Um, very deep. You know, very talented team. Very athletic. You know, we have a lot of guys that can do a lot of things. You know what I mean? Uh, point guards. Very good point guard. Dribble the ball well. Can shoot it. You know, gets guys involved. You know, our wings. Very good. Jabari Hall, CJ Franklin. You know, very athletic. Rebound the ball well. They play for each other. Defense is great. We got two bigs down low, Jameer House, Jermaine Brown, that calls the middle. You know, they got a good job. You know, we got a lot of a lot of guys on the bench that come in and contribute well. So, I mean, we're a pretty good team. Okay. You got any, uh, any of your players uh, the Division One schools are looking at? Uh, Well, Yavari Hall right now is being looked at by a few Division One schools. He's a 10th grader now, so he has a long way to go. We have a few other guys, our, our, our D2, getting D2 looks. And, you know, because of academics, you know, we have some junior college guys um, that we'll probably be looking at. So, you know, we have a few guys that I think will play at the next level. Okay. Coach Swift, tell me a little bit about What's the greatest joy you get from uh, coaching young men? I mean, it, it, to see the transformation, you know, to see from, you know, the lack of discipline, you know, and, and understanding of the game to, to, to becoming more disciplined, you know, to starting to listen and see their success on the court. You know, I think that's the biggest thing, just, just seeing the success. Mm. All right, well, thanks a lot, man. Uh, congratulations on the win. We'll be following you guys the rest of the season. Uh, we'll see y'all in the playoffs, hopefully. Thank you. Thank Rick you. Fields with Cascade Sports, and you get this on Cascade Sports. TV. What's up, Kansas City? I'm Brianna Garlington. I'm Charles Williams. And I'm Derek Parker. And we are CMG. CMG. And we would like to welcome you to follow both websites. That's what's up, KansasCity.net and CascadeSports.tv. Some of our programs consist of Are You Awoke, Coach's Corner, and many more interviews, news, and blogs. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram at Cascade Media Group and Twitter at What's Up KC and Cascade Sports. And remember, the victory cost success goes to the best prepared. And when you invest in your community, you are really just investing in yourself. So don't just like it, share it.